Hey guys, in this video we check out Tatsuya in Shinjuku, Tokyo for their pork cutlet and walk around Shinjuku. Hey guys, if it's your first time on my channel, my name is Great Anchata. Yes, Great like Great Wall of China. I'm into food, travel, and real estate. Do consider subscribing to my channel. So guys, the hunt is on! We're gonna look for some food to eat. Kind of, because we're kind of hungry. Although we ate something at Family Mart, because the Family Mart here is so yummy. I love it. We only had an egg sandwich. It's way better than 7-Eleven in Manila. And they probably use a lot of uh, Japanese mayo in it. It's so creamy, so tasty. Just love it so much. So while walking, I found Isatan. It's right over here behind. We're now in the B1 basement of Isatan, and there's so much Japanese food here. I'm so happy. They got everything everywhere, like over there, there's so many people shopping. Eventually, we didn't buy anything in the mall basement. We started to continue to walk around. So we find this little known place called Tatsuya in Shinjuku and try their pork cutlet. As you can see here, they're featuring their stuff in English and the pricing. Once inside, the place is really small. So this is going to be our first meal today. Aside from the, the egg thing. And finally, my pork cutlet has arrived. Wow, it looks so good. And of course, over here, my friend ordered the other popular item, the beef gyudon. Hmm. So take note, the restaurant only has bar counters. So take note, the pork cutlet was a very simple bowl, but it was really filling and I enjoyed it a lot. And mind you, for the price, it was definitely worth it. Since I was hungry, I quickly gobbled down the food and we decided to go back out and hit the streets. So I guess when you're in Japan, you have to visit Uniqlo and here I'm in Uniqlo, but sad to say the prices here are about the same like in Manila. Although I must say they have a very big building here with so many floors and then you can choose. They have all the different kinds of, um, what do you call that? sizes available whereas in Manila they have some stores but they're not as big as this one so Uniqlo now it's time to just walk around and head down this street and look at other stuff as well here in Japan Tokyo Shinjuku I think we're in Sancho Me which is like a third district I guess of Shinjuku because they have the first, second, and third, I guess. Here again is a view of people just walking around. So are we still hungry? No, I'm not hungry anymore. No We're still walking around, looking around. I think we're tired. Oh, look at the display of this thing, it's amazing. It looks like it's so real, right? It looks like it's so real. Amazing. It's freaking cold. Everyone's like walking around. It's after work already and it's time to go home, but for others, I think some people are still going out to party or whatnot, I think. Talk about anime. <laughs> now walking down one of these little alleys, little roads, and they have so many restaurants, bars, and I think we're kind of lost trying to get back now. No? 
by something I found in my Yes! Um, it's so great here. Look at my nose, it's like turning red. It's so cold. I'm so happy I'm inside Tommy Mart. We have so much stuff here, including my favorite over here. It's like lots of like tasty onigiri, my favorite. Ah, I'm always happy to visit a convenience store to check out all the goodies that they have. Look at that, everything is well packed and looks so fresh. So we got some all the so we just grabbed some items, which I think they call Odin at the convenience store. Anyway, stay tuned for the next video in Japan. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, do leave a thumbs up or a like down below or even leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if your travels bring you to Manila, do look me up. So guys, here's wishing that you have a great day.